Hi, everyone. It's Hamish, the founder of Ride Book. We're on episode number five of Getting Ready for Engagement Season. So it is now only a few days to go. It's the 3rd of December, so it's already upon us. It's going to be the biggest engagement season ever. And the, what we're focusing on today is high converting photos. So it's one of my favorite topics. Guaranteed the next five minutes is, can be the most impactful five minutes you can possibly spend on getting ready for engagement season. So from all the data we know on Bridebook, we can see photos is the most powerful thing for couples choosing their venue. As we've discussed already before, all venue search now begins online on more than 90%. They'll look at 23 profiles online, whittle them down to visiting eight, uh, inquiring to eight, then visiting three and booking one. But it all starts with those 23. And it all starts with photos. And when choosing a wedding venue, the number one uh, thing couples care about is photography. Now, this is giving me the most memorable photos of their lives. This photo is going to be sitting on their mantelpiece. It's going to be the most liked photo on Instagram they ever post in their lives. It's most likely going to be their social media profile photo forever. It is incredibly important photography. And when you're showing off your venue, have that in mind. Put yourself in the couple's seat and think, what are they looking for? And I'm going to show you through uh, very rapidly over the next few minutes some real tips. And actually, in my view, I'd actually say maybe the majority of venues don't do this very well. And actually, a very large number, I think, are missing an enormous opportunity. Um, we have an insane amount of data on Bride Book. We have many, many millions of uh, profile views a year, and we can analyze all the data. And we've done that. I was once a very boring investment banker, and, uh, and we know what works. I want to show you some of those uh, tips now. So, actually, so well prepared. I have some uh, slides today. Um, so, photos, hopefully, it's going to be easier talking through photos. Leave it like this. I'm going to jump into our own Headsa website as well. But Hopefully, it's very apparent to people, you know, how quickly a, a standard photo and then a beautiful photo and every photo you're going to see, these are all taken out of Bright Book profiles. Um, you can see, you know, this is obviously a beautiful building, but it is not at all as eye catching as this photo, this symmetry, this crispness, the variety, the color. You know, every wedding venue with the luckiest buildings in the world that we have professional photographers coming regularly, you know, befriend them and, and get this photography or get a photographer in. We've done a brilliant job at Headsa by getting uh, property photographers in. So who are normally working with estate agents, they're used to making buildings look as amazing as possible. They'll even touch up the sky and make it even a bit more blue. Think about doing that um, and definitely use professional photography. This looks probably hasn't been taken with a professional photographer and this venue stands out enormously and they're probably equally as beautiful buildings and i'm going to go through quickly you know obviously this venue you know th this image is lovely it's historic it probably evokes a lot of emotion to the venue owners but to the couple this is not aspirational to them this photo on the right they want this magical moment if you're looking for an outdoor sort of boho festival wedding something this is what you dream of having a drinks party around a lake in dusk with you know the lights reflecting off the pond and it looks like candles on the pond like that's what they're looking for and you want that to be absolute front and center jump through a few more here often venues will be very proud of their bedrooms you know we have lovely bedrooms we've spent a lot of money on to restore a headser but again put yourself in the couple shoes what are they aspiring for you know they will come and look at their look at your bedrooms and they will become important later on but this is your moment to capture their attention i'm going to show you that how it exactly looks like on bright book and um you know you want to capture their attention we're all used as as you know from instagram very short attention span uh, of, of most people on their mobile phone state like grab their attention as quickly as you can the couple who are looking for a barn wedding venue are going to be much more you know appealed or attracted by a photo like this than this bedroom that might be in a barn or, or could be anywhere in, in the short term you know, here's a 
very blurry photo, obviously use high quality photos. We're in great technology. We show your photos off as the best quality we possibly can, depending on the bandwidth that the people's phone is using it. Um, you know, we can't do anything with a photo like that if, it, if it's uploaded low quality and just gives off a poor impression of a venue. And we've got another sort of blurred zoomed in photo. Make sure you're using crisp, you know, the best photo you can. Think of, always think, would I put this on Instagram? And if you're not too sure, test your photos on Instagram. Put it on and see if you get any interaction at all. And, you know, we could be very confident that this photo would perform better than that photo. And if it's at the same venue, then make sure, you know, this is the one to go with. We're jumping on now, you know, this is a gorgeous photo. This is absolutely aspirational. Someone looking for a classic country venue, you know, looking to get married in summer, they are dreaming that, you know, they could be at this venue and have this weather with this long grass. It's incredibly aspirational. All their friends driving up to this venue will say, wow. And, you know, a lot of people are thinking of that. So this is like a really, really good photo and be a leading photo. I'll talk about that in a moment. This is another great photo where often you want couples to be able to connect even more and actually having a couple in it is more connecting than a photo of just a building. You know, you want couples to be there saying, I would love to have that photo of us. You know, that to have that on our mantelpiece or for us to have that moment at that venue looks incredible. We all know this couple is about to have an incredible time and lucky them you know, having this beautiful setting. Um, that's that evo emotion you want to evoke. And very regularly, a photo like this will be competing with the next venue who might have put up that blurry photo or that bedroom photo or a strange zoomed in photo. Um, you know, this captures the attention so much more and every single time will perform better. Get you more attention, get people onto your profile, get them engaging with you, capture their attention, then they'll inquire. And then, you know, the, the whole, game begins to, to getting them to choose you. On emotion, you know, both of these photos have amazing emotion, but I highly recommend the one on the right. Like this could be, this, this is unrelated to the venue. So whilst it's a beautiful photo, the couple who are sliding through these photos on your profile carousel, you know, are in venue finding mode. Like that's what we've driven them to. That's all the information we're surrounding them with. And we want them to be saying, you know, this looks wonderful, walking through, you know, this, this uh, lovely setting. Whereas this photo, and I think it might actually be the same couple, um, I'm not too sure, but, um, you know, this photo is going to be going to be much more, um, will perform a lot better. Um, and also, don't fear from uh, showing similar photos, but try and show something different. So this is different seasons. So here we have a beautiful summer setting and this is in the autumn. And being able to show couples that variety, you know, more and more couples are moving out of the summer season. And, um, you know, it's a great chance to show off your venue in different aspects. What you want to avoid is just doing a repetitive photo. This same photo with a couple standing in front of it is going to lose people's attention. It's same as if you posted repetitive photos on Instagram, people would, you know, just swipe on. You want to be showing off that character. I'm going to teach you a lot about that in a moment or, or talk about it in a moment. You know, next up, a favorite. You know, some people use stock photography or, or, or just, I don't even know what this is, but, you know, whilst again, it might evoke a little bit of emotion, uh, I'd strongly, strongly, strongly advise, you know, don't do something like this. Show off your venue and, and um, show off you know, show off something that, that is, is unique to you wherever possible. And that's where, when you're looking at unique features, that's where whilst, you know, this, this might feel, you know, disconnected um, from a big venue photo, this is again, you know, an incredible feature. I know this is uh, Ellingham Hall and, you know, every couple, every person would love to sit in that window and have that photo of them, whether it's a, couple, whether it's a solo photo like this, and showing off something like that is an amazing moment. Again, I wouldn't lead with this photo. So we're about to talk through how to lead it, but I'd recommend, I'll talk about it in a moment, this would be a third photo in your carousel. 
um, in that moment to really show you something very sort of special and unique about you. Here, this is a this is a real carousel where we have, you know, this is their first photo, second photo, third photo. You know, wonderful photos, but it is not showing enough about the venue. You know, it's a beautiful bouquet, they, you know, some lovely catering, and then a, an interior photo. You know, none of those photos are going to be what someone aspires to have and, and put on their um mantelpiece one day and that's what you're going back to you know this photo whoever this is guaranteed they're very proud of that photo and have it framed somewhere in their home or you know have posted it or you know it's, it must be an amazing moment for them you know this doesn't evoke the same feeling so really go and look for what is someone going to say wow i want that um so here talking about ourselves and i'll try and critique ourselves as well um but this is what I recommend. So this is Hedza's photo carousel. So on Brightbook, and I'll show you very quickly, but on the search of Brightbook, couple can swipe through three photos and then choose whether they want to go into your profile fully. So rather like if anyone, and I haven't used it, but as I hear on Tinder, you know, you swipe through a few photos with a person trying to find out that person's character. You want to show a diversity and show as much as possible uh, to encourage them to start chatting maybe bad example but i'm very happily married um but here so headsa i this framework works incredibly well we recommended it to lots of venues and it performs, performs incredibly well for them so first up you want your hero shot and an exterior shot so most couples are looking you know getting married in the summer the reason they're doing that is they want to be outdoors at some stage and and you know, the exterior, so the hero shot, you want to show off your venue as brilliantly as you can. Next up, you want your best interior hero shot, something very aspirational again. So this is some, you know, completely over the top, you know, dance floor we once had with balloons everywhere, something incredibly eye-catching. And then the last photo, you can choose what you want to do with this. So you might go back to exterior, you might go back to something else special. This is our ballroom, this is actually the ballroom on my wedding day. So maybe we're biased on, on choosing our photos. But um, this is a lovely ballroom, different to that room. And something, you know, hopefully gives couples that real taste of, wow, this venue looks great. Wow, it looks amazing on the inside. Wow, it looks, you know, in the evening. And wow, it looks amazing for, for the wedding breakfast. And this is the evening reception. And trying to give them that full taste. And then they'll swipe in uh, or, or jump in. Here's another brilliant uh, venue. This is Tunnels, uh, Tunnels Beaches. So, you know, they might not have shown too much of the venue here, but it's giving you a huge taste. And, you know, it's going to stand out on bribe. And we go, this is a venue literally on the beach in a cove. What a special place. So you've got a great exterior shot. Then you're doing a great interior shot. This is showing how close, you know, what a, what a great place to have, to have, a, have a wedding. And then it's their exterior where they've done another hero shot, something unique. You know, the couple doing their first dance at sunset on the beach. You know, wow, brilliant. You know, this will have a huge high conversion for the couple saying, right, we want to go and find out more about this venue. Same again, a great exterior shot, a wonderful interior shot, then another exterior shot. And this would say, fantastic, because it's a different angle. And always make sure it's a different angle. You know, this thing, obviously got some amazing deer park in front of the venue. And, you know, it's just really beautiful, crisp, eye-catching photos. You know, the majority of people would feel very fortunate to be able to get married at a venue like that. And, you know, we'll, we'll push them on. And this is <clears throat> great. It's a big shout out to Kelly Mortar, Mortimer. I'm sure you know some of them. So jumping on a little bit is where this is the same room okay so this is just a conference room and this is it dressed and well photographed okay you can see the enormous difference in it you know this looks absolutely beautiful and well lit and it's just a better angle of a well-dressed room uh, with better lighting and some floristry put in um, and it really is quite stunning and investing in dressing a room or asking a friendly couple is it all right if we take a few photos once the venue's set up once, once the, uh, your room's set up, um, 
or finding a day when you can come and do it and maybe do a styled shoot and team up with some local suppliers, you know, this photo sadly is never going to convert. You know, you, you're not going to get people going onto your profile or inquiring if they're coming across this. It's not aspirational. This really looks very special for someone looking for a small wedding. Um, you know, this is beautiful. And, you know, that's the photo and that's all at that top of that funnel. And this is where you're showing off yourself your very best. Now I've got another one here. Again, the same room, sort of wrapped chairs with bows, a little less fashionable now. And actually this room, tilting the camera up, making it feel, you know, this feels like quite a low room and suddenly you're realizing it's got high ceilings, Chivari chairs, you know, an aisle runner, looks, looks very fresh and clean and more modern. And again, it's, it's probably the same chairs wrapped, actually, I'm not sure if it is, but um, house and photography, getting a photographer in, um, often actually getting them to touch up the photos a little bit to make sure they're looking as, as crisp and vibrant, vibrant as possible. Just with Instagram filters, if you, if you don't want to use anything more technical than that, can really transform it. So six learnings, and then I'm gonna quickly jump into some bits on this. On um, key learnings, pick your best profile photo. Get that hero showstopper, high quality number one, okay? Next up, make your carousel count. You've got three photos. I'm gonna show you through the real life any second. Go with a hero exterior, hero interior, and then one more eye-catching shot. Okay, think of those three. If you were only allowed three photos, you could show a couple, what would those three photos be? If you could, you know, if you um, had to be at an exhibition, you're allowed three slides, what would you show off? If you could print three photos to have on a mantelpiece, what would be those photos? Test them on your Instagram. What have you been, your three most liked Instagram photos? Find those hero photos and, and test and optimize, and it's transformative. Um, include real weddings, find something people can connect to. You know, we saw that a couple dancing on the beach. Everyone in the world would, you know, dream of having that moment. Um, whether they were looking for a beach wedding or not, you know, it can draw them being like, wow, look for something people can really connect to. And even if the couple's not in that, it, in the photo, it's got to be aspirational. That heads a photo with the balloons and the lights. Um, you, know, you know, it's unlikely many people, I think it's the most sort of extreme one we've ever done, but everyone has aspired to be like, wow, it'd be amazing to walk on with all my friends to that dance floor and you know, get that inspiration and emotion going. Um, include variety. Do not do same photos, or, you know, just repetition on the, on the same day. Think of how you can, you know, show them through that story, tell a bit of a tale, um, makes a big difference. Show off your top features, not canapes, um, is, uh, is incredibly important. And then, um, yeah, think what's special to you. Is it that amazing window at the Ellingham, Ellingham Hall? Is it um, that terrace on the beach? Is it what's unique to you? You know, and, and looking for architectural or, or aspirational sort of visual features, so we say not canapes. They will come to you and discuss that later on. At this stage, they're looking for like, what's the setting for the greatest moment and party and memorable moment of my life. You know, they think of the sort of visual beauty and they're looking big, and then they're gonna start looking at the details. If you focus on the details first, you'll miss the other bit and they'll never actually talk to you about, get the chance to talk to them about the details. And then finally, you know, dress to impress. It will pay off dressing rooms, getting your photos looking beautiful. That photo, as I said, of the ballroom on my wedding was exactly, we got another photographer to come in and take photos whilst it was all set up. And having that room dressed, if it's bare, most people don't have a creative imagination like you know, most people in the wedding industry do to help them as much as possible and, and you know, get them excited. So again, all these learnings, just to quickly, quickly show you, is um, relevant for everything else. On any digital presence you have on your own website, um, think of those photos. And just to show you Hedsa's website, I just load it so you see exactly what happens when a couple comes on. We have an amazing hero exterior shot and a roll to a wonderful aspirational interior shot, very incredible flowers, a great exterior shot from a different angle, a great interior shot, incredibly aspirational and wow, a great exterior shot, 
And we're going to have another interior shot, that dance floor I was talking about. And finally, a bit of fun, something unique. Little Al, a Highland cow. And again, as you go through the site, so great exterior, wonderful interior. This is the bridal bathroom. A great exterior. One time this was a corporate event with a helicopter, but it's still incredibly aspirational, eye-catching wow. You know, then something more intimate, you know, some really special moment here. And then we go into the, you know, meetings and other stuff, but really capturing attention. And just so you always know, on your Bright Book profile, here's Heads' profile, just scroll down, edit your profile, click photos. We have spent a lot of development time making it as easy as possible. So you can just drag and shuffle your photos and make sure they're in the right order. Oh, there we go. Um, and um, test stuff out, speak with your venue consultant. We can help you enormously on this. So finally, if I stop sharing, I am going to get up. Uh, if you can see this, this is going to be live on my phone. Hopefully you can see that. So this is a bride book. This is me and my wife. Imagine we're uh, getting married now. Hopefully you've all uh, had a good experience and seen, seen the consumer experience, the couple side for Brightbook. So you say, right, we're getting married in Buckinghamshire. Um, find your dream venue. So off we go. Here we go. So we immediately have, you know, this is what couples are looking at. Notley Abbey, lovely venue. They have three photos now, which the majority of couples will swipe through and then choose, do they want to go to their profile? So if we look here, I'm going to test them out live of Notley Abbey. Then we have an interior photo. So we have a cute, great exterior photo. Interior, I think maybe this photo could be better. I'll chat with Sam. I know Sam well. I'm sure you won't be upset with me saying this. But maybe could have a more aspirational photo there, a wider angle. So, you know, you see how amazing Notley Abbey's, you know, huge barn is. Um, and then here we are. This is the old Abbey. This is where you're going to get married. Next up, here we go, head sir. Let's check our photos are lined up now. Here we go, as we've already covered, well, a great exterior photo. I'm swiping in a great interior photo and a great boring one. You know, I'll do, I'll do a few of these, <laughs> jump off it where you run out of time. So you have, you know, wow, a great eye-catching photo. You know, someone looking for an outdoor wedding, you know, their guests walking up, in the evening, having a party, something like this, incredibly aspirational and eye-catching. And next up, great, a lovely interior, showing a, a feature people would really enjoy, especially if they're having a having an outdoor, you know, a, a sort of beautiful marquee wedding. And then again, this is giving some of the ambiance that couples are probably looking for. So I think this is great. I think this photo could probably be clearer. I can't see exactly what's going on. But then after that photo, I should have shown you, sorry, the fourth swipe, is do you want to go and see their profile? So always look through, go on and have a look. Here's Stowe, you know, absolutely eye-catching building in Buckinghamshire. Swipe in, you know, a beautiful photo, walking off to the chapel, something unique for them. They've done two exterior photos. So I hope now they're going to do an amazing interior photo. And they have, wow. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely stunning. And this is, it actually looks like it might be a, an Indian wedding going on. Um, but, you know, fantastic. If you're looking at that, you know, it's already drawn your attention enormously to go and check out their profile. We can look at Notley Tithe Barn. So beautiful outdoor photo of a, of a lovely Tithe Barn. And this, uh, I'd say, you know, there may be a missed opportunity there. You can have a, have a great photo interior. These are really duplicate photos, possibly. Um, I know Sarah and our team is your venue consultant. I'll get them to come give you some help. Um, but I think there's an there's a opportunity to have something more eye-catching. And hopefully this is going to be a wonderful interior shot. And it's a rainbow. So again, missed opportunity. I think going in, I'm going to make sure we follow up with you straight away. And we will get this looking awesome. And if we, let's actually just go into their profile quickly. Um, so here it is. They've got 19 photos. I bet in here there are some wonderful photos. Let me just check on the home wife. Um, let's scroll down and see this. Here we go. I'll go back in. Uh, so these are our photos. Yes, so look, this is a great tithe barn. I'd say that could be a great second photo. 
this looking good, maybe a more professional photo, like that would be a great second photo. So, so we've had that wonderful exterior, wonderful interior, absolutely beautiful old Thai barn, uh, and then choosing something unique. So have a look in your county, message your um, uh, venue consultant, um, reply to this email if we can help. Spending some time on optimizing your photos, honestly, is such a big win. It's such an opportunity to show your venue off. That's the first thing, every single couple, that's the first stage of the funnel, making yourself look as good as you possibly can, get more couples coming through to you, make the most of your amazing, beautiful venue and the amazing boom and busiest engagement season ever, which is starting in a few weeks. So we're starting now, really. So. Thank you for your time and any feedback, always send it, write a comment below, subscribe, and we are always here to help and wishing you an amazing uh, engagement season ahead. Right. Thanks a lot.